Hello, Elena. Hello, Samuel. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very good. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? A little tired. Really? Why are you tired? For work. A lot of work, a lot of money. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. I like that. I like that. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? WH questions. WH questions, correct. So today we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're going to be looking at the next section, which is going to be coming from the platform referring to names. Uh, for example, the difference in, in the name for a man and the difference for a name in a woman. For example, let's look at this one over here. We're gonna say, uh, what's in a name right here? This is coming from section number 1.4, reading exercise, what's in a name? And then from there, you are going to finish reading the text. You're going to click here. And then you're going to go to this section. You can click over here or over here. And you can zoom in and zoom out. Let me have one volunteer to read this section over here. What's in the name? Very good, continue. Oh. Yes, continue reading. Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is in an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. What are these names popular and where are some names unpopular? Continue? Uh, no, select somebody. Oh. Select another participant to read the next paragraph. Um, right now, the two, I know, the two most popular names for okay. babies. Okay, Elena, continue. Sorry. Is uh, right now. Yes, please. Okay, sorry. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the uni United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Two. Okay, stop right there. Select the next participant. Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, names uh, can become popular because of famous actors. TV or book, uh, characters or athletes, popular names suggests very positive things, unpopular names suggests negative things. Surprisingly, surprising, uh, how do you say, teacher? Surpri surprising. Surprisingly. 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 Okay. People generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are uh, some common opinions about names from a recent 
Sarbi. Okay. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, guys, from this section is you are going to work with a classmate. You're going to work in pairs and you are going to practice reading the text. You can read it one time. You can read it two times. You can read it three times. It's up to you. But the more that you practice, the better that you become and the more that you are able to improve your pronunciation. Do you understand? Yes. Do yes. you have any questions? Yes, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. An important part of your identity. identity. Eh, okay. La siguiente la digo yo también. Mm, la voy a decir yo. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why? Are the snakes popular in why are some nice unpopular? Creo que quiere que compartamos la pantalla. Chico. Voy a intentar. Ah, bueno. Okay. Okay. Okay, ¿lo alcanzo a ver? Sí. Ah, okay. Vaya, eh, names, names can become popular because of fem famous actors. TV or books, uh, characters or athletes, popular names, suggest very positive things, um, popular names, suggest negative things, uh, surprising, so, 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 <laughs> people generally, generally Agree on the way they feel about names. There are some common op opinions about names from a recent survey. Mm, yeah. Boys' names, George, our boy, Jacob, Creative, 
Friendly, Michael, good looking athlete, Stanley, nerdy series, Grilney, Betty, all function averse, Emily, independent adventures, Jane, plain ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Okay. So, why do parents give their children a popular name? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that in, is unpopular now might become popular in the future, future. That's good news for all the yogur and George, sorry, and Betty's older. Mm -hmm. complicado. <laughs> Hay una nueva compañera, Elena. No la dejamos practicar. No, ah, perdón, okay. es que no me puedo conectar bien. Eh, se lo están leyendo todo de corrido. Este, sí, ahorita terminamos ya el, el párrafo. Eh, pero sí. Ajá, ahí vamos por párrafo por párrafo. Uno si cada uno. ¿O cómo? Ajá, si gusta, empezamos de nuevo. Eh, una que diga la, el primer párrafo, la otra el segundo, el tercero y hasta finalizar. Ok, está bien, ¿quién empieza? Ok. Eh, si gusta, empiece usted. Ah, este, solo desde el párrafo, ¿cierto? De, de, your name is very important. Sí, ahí está bien. Ok, sí, está bien. your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It's, it's an important part of your identity. Identity, creo que así se dice. Ok. Identity, eh, identity. Identity. Ajá, como I. I, identity. Identity. Okay. Yes. Uh, right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. girls. Why are these names popular? And we are some names unpopular. Names can become popular because of famous famous actor, TV or book. I said yeah, famous, famous. Eh, ¿Dónde teacher? Eh, la pronunciación okay. de famoso es famous. Ah, famous, famous uh -huh. actor. Ah, because of famous actor, TV or books. Character o athletes, ¿cómo es ahí también? Athletes. ¿Ah? Huh? Eh, atletas, ¿no? Athletes. 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 Popular names, soccer, very positive team. Un popular name, soccer, negative team, supreme sense. People general, general added on the way they feel about names. Here are some common options about names from recent survey. Survey, Eva. It surveys, surveys, survey. Okay. Sería boys' names, George, Average, Bory, Jacob, Creative, Friendly, Michael, Wood, Looking, Athletic, Stanley, Nerdy, Serious, Your names, Betty, of Fashion, um, Average, no sé si es, 
Emily, independent. Uh, average, average. Average. <laughs> and Emily, independent, avent aventurers. Um, Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. So, why do parents give their children popular names? The biggest reason in tradition, many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for Ale, George, and Betty, and Betty oh oh there there ya están contestando las preguntas sí, eh, no sé si también íbamos a hacer la actividad o solo practicar a hacer la actividad okay. bueno yo ya lo había hecho Solo la leemos entonces. Yes. Your name is. Your, na your name is part of your identity trait. Ahí solo creo que tenemos que contestar con verdadero o falso. Sí. Según el párrafo que leímos. Mm -hmm. Sí, igual yo la hice, pero no, no la puedo ver. Si quieren uno, cada uno vea leyendo como la, es la pregunta. Sí, ya leí la primera. Vaya, people often feel the same way about a particular name. True. Boys names are more popular than girls names. False. People are often named after family members. True. Opinions about names can change. True. No sé si seguimos practicando el párrafo o ya no. Teacher. I'm sorry. Seguimos practicando el párrafo o ya la terminaron todos. Sí. Okay. Okay. Let's see what everybody else is doing. Give me just a second. Okay. Estamos viendo la pantalla, ya no. And we are out. Close all rooms. Uh, mañana es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. ¿Qué van a hacer mañana? No hay clase. Descansar. Descansar por dos. Oh. Working. Oh. Mientras ustedes están working y descansando, yo voy a estar en la playa, nadando en la piscina. Oh. Eso no se dice, profe. Sorry. El lunes me van a, el lunes me van a ver más negro. <risa> Más bronceado. Envidia de la buena. Ya, yeah, sí, a mí me gusta pasar en la playa. Casi todos los fines de semana me voy. Valde Cameron, teacher. Eh, no, un, un amigo mío, eh, su familia tiene un, una casa en la playa. Y mm. como ellos no viven en El Salvador, viven en... California. Mm -hmm. Así que nosotros nos vamos para allá. 
Ni modo, ni modo, a mí me toca. Ni modo, quíteme la suerte. Do you like the beach? Yes, I like too much. Well, which which beach do you like? En Sunsal, eh, el Tunco. Ah, ok. Yo para el Sunsal. Qué nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, this is desconectar el teléfono, desconectar la laptop, no internet, no stress, no nothing. Okay, let me have two participants. Let me have two participants. We're going to check. Read number one, Angelica. Read the, the sentence and the answer. Your name is part of your identity. 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 Your name is part of your identity. True. Very good. David Alberto, number two. People often feel the same way about a particular name. True. Good. Uh, Joaquin, number three. Okay. Uh, Stanley, three. Three. If boys' names are more popular, then girls' names. Excellent. False. False. Elena, number four. F five or four? Sorry, five. Okay. Opinions about names can change. True. True. Very good. And also in different countries, right? Different cultures. They have different meanings for different names. It just depends what country you are in. Uh, okay, for the next activity, we are going to look at a video. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. In esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación acerca de trabajos usando pronombres y adverbios interrogativos. Conversation. Where do you work? Oh, look at the picture. Look at the picture. You have a hamburger place. It's called Hamburger Heaven. And you have Machu Picchu in Peru. Nice, nice. Do you like hamburgers? Yes, I like it. <laughs> yes, I love it. Oh, you I love, love it. Oh, you love hamburgers? <laughs> what, what is your favorite hamburger place? My Wendy's. Wendy's, okay. McDonald's. McDonald's, okay. Wendy's. Wendy's, okay, okay. La que sea. Hola, <laughs> hola. <laughs> eh, do you know El Paseo El Carmen in Santa Tecla? Uh, yes. Ah, okay. So, so when I... When I yeah. El, el Shardy. <laughs> No, there is a there is a place in Paseo El Carmen, uh, on the strip, uh, where there it looks like it's a, a van, and then the name it says Crazy Burger. Have you seen oh. that place? No. Oh. No. No. Okay, so that's the name. It's called Crazy, like Crazy Burger. Oh my God, it is so delicious. When I go, I buy two. One to eat there and one to bring home with me. 
para que valga la pena el viaje, me, como, me compro dos. Boy. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Very delicious. All right, let's uh, listen to the audio. Please write the vocabulary you don't understand. Listen. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Section 2. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. All right, listen and repeat. What do you do there? I'm a guide. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? Where do, Where you, do work, you work, Andrea? Andrea? Andrea. Yeah. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work, I work, at, I Thomas work Cook at Thomas Travel. Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh really? oh, really? What, what do, you do you do there? there? I'm a guide. I'm, I'm a guide. guide. I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. I oh, take people for on tours on countries, countries in South, in South America, America, like Peru. How interesting. How, How interesting. interesting. Yes, it's a great job. Yes, it's, it's a great job. job. I love it. And what do you do? I love, I love it. it. And, and what, what, what do, do you do? do? I'm a student. I'm, I'm a student. student. And I have a part-time um, job too. And, then, and I have a part-time part job, job too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, oh where, where do you work? Do you work? In a fast food restaurant. In, In a, a fast, fast food, food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which, Which restaurant? restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger, Hamburger Heaven. Heaven. Okay. Let me have two volunteers. Two. Okay. Me. Okay. Okay. Let me have Jose and Joanna. Jose is Jason. Joanna is Andrea. And okay. action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on towers to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Heaven. Ding, ding, ding. Awesome. All right, I would like for Thank you. everybody to work in pairs, work with a classmate, and what you're going to do is you're going to practice the pronunciation, practice in pairs. Are you ready? 
Do you have a question at this moment? No question. All right, you're gonna practice it maybe two or three times. Practice it okay. maybe two or three times. Okay. do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Amberbird Heaven. Eh, Joaquín, si quiere ahora usted practica, no sé si con, de, con David o conmigo. No se le escucha, creo que está bloqueado el audio. Sí. No lo he desbloqueado. Hola, hola. Hola. Este, ahora sí. sí. No sé si va a practicar con Joaquín o conmigo. Eh, Hola, David, perdón. Sí, yo soy Joaquín. Este, si gusta con usted. Vaya, entonces usted puede ser Jason y yo, Andrea. Está bien, de acuerdo. Ahorita comenzamos. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours of two countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. I, I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Hill. Okay. No okay. sé si David va a platicar otra vez si quiere con, con Joaquín. Ah, sí, estaría bien. Mm, de acuerdo. Entonces seré Jason. So es, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Food Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am, I'm here, I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. 
How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Haven. Ok, ahora si gustan pueden practicar ustedes. Vaya, esta vez si quiere usted, este David, sea Jason y yo Andrea. De acuerdo. Where do you work, Andrea? Le damos la última. Ok. Eh, Empieza usted o yo. Eh, Where do you work, Jason? I work at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? What do you there? I'm not guy. I take people on tour to countries in South America like Peru. Oh, how interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburg food. Yes. It's heaving or heavy? Muchas veces lo he escuchado heaven, otros heavy. Oh, uh, like <laughs> heaven. 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 Ah, okay. Okay. Ya practicamos ya. De la dos, aún no he iniciado. Y este, usted, Joaquín, ha logrado la dos porque yo he puesto los, porque el último es de las horas de escuchar una conversación y he intentado así poner la hora en números y así en escrito y no, no me lo da. No, la dos no la he hecho aún. Ahorita se la voy a compartir. Ay, ok. Alguien más me lo había pedido ahora mismo. Aquí está. Al grupo la voy a compartir porque me imagino que todos tienen el mismo problema. Did you finish? Okay. Welcome, welcome, Carla. How are you? Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the class. I finished my work. Okay, okay. Uh, now, guys, what we are going, well, I'm going to wait for everybody to return. Vamos a esperar que regresen todos. Okay. Okay. okay.
Okay. Now, what you are going to do is you're going to write a similar conversation like this one. You're going to write it over here where it says at a post. And you're going to put the title work. And here you're going to write the conversation. Do you understand? Yes. Va a escribir una conversación similar a la que acabamos de leer y la va a modificar a su manera. In pairs. You're, the pairs, you can write the same story. La pareja puede escribir la misma diálogo. Rápido le hiciste. Where do you work? Some I do work. Bajar un poquito más, por favor. Dale a ponerle al principio. Eh, publicarla ahí donde dijo él. ¿Cómo? Tenemos que publicarla ahí en el foro. Sí. Esta. sí, sí. A ver cómo le hago, porque estoy teniendo problemas de internet y está lento. Me imagino. Y da la casualidad que siempre que lo voy a ocupar en la noche falla, en el día no. Ha... <risa> ¿Ya lo copiaste? Sí. Escribe rápido. Eh, si gusta, lo practicamos. Sí, practicamos. Ok. ¿Tú eres San o Joan? ¿Cuál prefieres? Hola. Hola. Empiezo yo, ¿cómo? Ok, empieza tú. Where, where do you work, Sam? I don't work, John. How about you? Yes, I am. 
Where do you work? Dale para arriba que me he perdido la lectura. <risa> Te acabo de preguntar eso. Where do you work? ¿Tú sigues abajo? Es... Oh, I work at the university in a cyber coffee. Uh -huh. oh, la, la palabra la palabra café está en español, en inglés poner. Porque no sé si, si allá le, le llaman coffee. Quería preguntarle a él. Oh, ok, entonces de preguntarles. Sigamos entonces. Oh, that's cool. What do you do there? Acá donde está el puntero. Hola. Pero, I am program. I help the people with their duties. Yeah. Great. Bien. Ahora si gustas empiezo. Yo. Sí, empieza, empieza todo. Okay. Where do you work, Sam? I do work, jo Johan, Johan, Eva. Johan o Johan. Uh -huh. How about you? Yes, I am. Where do you work? I work at the university in the Silver Coffee. Oh, that's cool. What do you What do you do there? I'm a programmer. I have the people with their tools. Do great. Yeah. Pequeñito la conversación para para tarea. Help Elena. Hola. Hola. Oh, había alguien más. Pero es que yo acabo de ingresar, eh, ah, por lo que ya habían hecho todos ustedes, sí. No, problema. Pero pueden practicar la misma, ¿o no? ¿Sí? Yes, sí, no yes. Okay. Soy John, Joan, ¿eh? ¿Verdad? Vaya, where do you work, Sam? I don't work, John. How about you? Yes, I am. Where do you work? I work at the university in a cyber cafe. Oh, that's cool. What do you do there? I'm a programmer. I help the people with their duties. Teacher is here. Go. Eh, teacher está acá. Sí. Yes. Bueno, yo lo... eh, ¿Cómo se dice dudas? Do? Uh, doubts. D O U P T S. D O U. Eh, ajá. B, B de bebé. ¿Ah? T de tío. Doubts. Were there doubts? Thanks. Yeah. With their doubts. Yeah. He sounds disagreed. Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Y ahí donde dice university in cyber cafe sería café, así la palabra en español o cómo? Sí, café. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es como un cyber café. C A F E. Ah, okay. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Eh, Elena es, ¿no? Sí. Practique con, con él.
Okay, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me and David. Who? Me and David. Uh, Joanna, we're going to give the other students uh, participation. Somebody else wants to participate? David Alberto Martinez. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead, practice. Hello, Joanna, where do you work? Hi, David. I work in a lab. Amazing. And what do you do there? Yes, it's a great job. I make the mixes for the medicine. And what do you do, David? Oh, my job is boring. And I work at the bank. Oh, really? Why is boring? I work a lot and every day is the same. So sorry, but be positive, you have a job. Yes, you're right. Okay, awesome, very good. Very good pronunciation, Thank great. Thank you. Uh, Joanna, select somebody. What? Eh, seleccione otro participante. Oh, Angélica. Eh, Angélica. Hello. Hi. Um, let me see. Select somebody. Uh, Elton. Edson, Edson, okay. Edson and Angelica. Okay. Action. Yeah. Pero, o sea, él no, él no fue mi pareja ahorita en el grupo. Oh. Pero no podemos improvisar o cómo. Sí, no hay problema. Okay. Okay. Action. Bye. Uh, uh, hi, uh, Angelica. Where do you work? I work uh, to travel in Salvador. Oh, really? Uh, what do you do there? Uh, I am a uh, marketing and Oh, interesting. Is it uh, stressful or easy? What? Is it, isn't all oh, interesting? Is it stressful or easy? Stressante? Yes. Stressful, correct. Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's a uh, great job. I love it. And what do you do? Um, I'm a student English and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? I work on sales, uh, salesman online. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Awesome. Good pronunciation. Good job. Excellent work. Angelica, select somebody. And Edson, select somebody. Carla Romero. Carla Romero. Y el otro, the man. Um, Joaquin. 
Joaquín. Chapter 4, Part 1 of The Legends of the Jews, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. Recording by M.L. Cohen, Cleveland, Ohio, July 2007. Legends of the Jews, Hola, Hola. Earth and Carla Romero. Okay, Carla. Methuselah took a wife for a son landed. Okay. Where do you work? His body was big as white as snow and dressed in blue. The hair of his head was as blue as rock as blue as snow. Creo que Carla no, no sé si. When he opened his eyes, that teacher. Yes. Elvira, entonces. Elvira. Elvira dijo que solo iba a escuchar que en el chat que estaban trabajando. Ok. Elena. Elena. Hi. Hi, Elena. Where do you work? I work in home and online sales. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh? Repeat the question, please. What do you do work there? Perdón. What do you do? Uh, what do you do there is, um, que hace allí? Ah, I am sales, sales, ventas, mm -hmm. online sales. How interesting. Okay, thank you. And your name, I, and you, Joaquin, what do you do? I am a student. You don't work. In fast food restaurant. Oh, okay, nice. Yes. Okay. All right, good job, excellent. Don't be nervous, don't be nervous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, all right guys, um, remember that tomorrow we're not gonna have classes. Um, I will be at the beach, sorry. So enjoy, mm -hmm. enjoy your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we see you again on Monday. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, Good teacher. Night. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye, see guys. you next week. See you next week. Work hard.